Hello, Lushalad here, and today, Lushies, I'm going to be showing you some Cosmetics To Go products and catalogs. And Cosmetics To Go was a company that Lush, or the owner of Lush, Mark Constantine, owned before Lush. And um, they had so many wonderful looking products, and I just have to show them to you because you'll just fall in love with them and want them back. So, um, the owner of Lush, Big as he's called, has sent me uh, the CTG catalogs, uh, I think every single one of them, and uh, one day, uh, a few years back, and I just, um, as you would imagine, I just pretty much almost fainted dead away on the floor. <laughs> and I've not forgotten it since. Um, this right here that I'm holding is a the very first uh, catalog from Cosmetics To Go. Um, I haven't opened it because it's still it's still sealed and I really don't want to open it because I don't know. I just don't. I'm just kind of funny that way. So <laughs> I'd love to open it and read it to you, but I'm just not going to. So, but I have a bunch of other catalogs and I'm going to show you some of the products that they offered um, in CTG. And CTG um, isn't the name for Cosmetics To Go. Everyone calls it CTG for short. And so now I'm going to be showing you some of the um, catalogs. And I'm going to be showing you the products that I have from CTG that are um, and find them in the catalog so we can compare and I'll talk about the products and what they smell like and what they were like to use, etc. And uh, it should be fun and interesting. Okay, I'll be right back and then I'll turn the camera around and be able to show you these wonderful products. Okay, so these are the CTG products that I've uh, gathered throughout the years. And I'll be talking about all of those. And then here are the uh, catalogs. And um, let's start with this one. Now, this is Christmas. And um, let me show you the kinds of things that we have in here. Um, it has the old order number, phone number. Isn't that cool? Okay. Let's see. So it says Cosmetics to Go. And it has their little... Their angel. Um, I love this logo. I love it. Love, love, love. I wish I had like a poster of that or something. Okay, so we open it up and we see some Christmas, some talk about Christmas. And let's see what we have in here. So, okay, it looks like we have some brandy butter. And uh, it's a, it looks like a, um, I don't know, it looks like a body polish to me. And I bet it smells good. I know that Lush made a ballistic called Brandy Butter a few years back. And uh, they actually made a buttercream called Randy Butter as well. And I just loved it. It smelled like Christmas. It was so wonderful. You could smell the spices and the brandy and everything like that. Let's see what else we have. We have something called Hot Toddy and that looks like a, a bath bubbles and we have something called Bar Humbug and we have a snowball. I'll get to more snowballs in a minute. I just have, look at this, look. Um, yeah, okay, so does this puzzle look familiar? Um, it's a soap, and um, I think it's a soap. It's either a soap or a bubble bar, and oh my god, I just want to eat it. I know you do too. Yummy, right? Okay, so that's the catalog here, and uh, here's some flying jackets, aftershave bomb. Um, you'll notice the top here. I'll show the, I'll show you a perfume with that later. Okay, so that's one. 
And here's a Christmas one from 1992. And you can see we've got people on the cover. Um, I'm wondering who this is. Hmm. Okay, let's open it. And, okay, you got to see this, right? So, this right here, it's a Christmas orange. You know, like those pomanders you make with the cloves and you stick them in the orange for Christmas? Um, yeah, this is actually something, um, it has, um, let's see, orange. And inside it's filled with potpourri of many soaps acorns, leaves, nuts, and berries. The cloves, real ones, give the orange a delicious, spicy fragrance, so it may end up hanging in the wardrobe just like a real pomander. Comes in white tissue paper. Awesome. Here is Abracadabra, and it's CTG's individual Christmas cake. So, um, it's a real mini Christmas cake. It's round. You slice it up like normal and it makes um, a lathering soap for the body so that's a uh, yeah that's abracadabra it's a Christmas cake and then we have the traditional put it says they're only puddings Jennifer expertly handcrafted soaps that look and smell delicious just like the real thing if you have the heart to use this wash ball its creamy lather will take you to the land of hot toddy because it smells just the same as our famous bath treat. So it's called a wash ball, and I big, so is this. And so they look like little little cakes and little sweets, and um, they soap up and lather. So awesome. Here's another Christmas item. And this one, let's see if I can, let's see if I can uh, see what it says here. It says soap. That's a rope that's shaped like a stick. It says, have you noticed a bit of an obsession with stockings this year? This large cane of moisturizing soap has stripes of solid bubble bath paper that are wound around by hand to give a candy stick effect. It smells of cinnamon and looks great peeking over the top of a stocking. Right? I mean, I know I want that, and I bet you do too, right? Okay, let's go to another product here. Okay, here is the Elemental perfume. And uh, and I have a perfume. I have the Elemental perfume. Um, it has the same designs, etc. Um, and it's supposed to be uh, encompassing the four elements of air, earth, fire, and water. And uh, so it's kind of cool and yet warming. And um, it's really ethereal and really nice. And let's see what else we have here. Hmm. Okay, we have the Color Wizard. And um, that was a, a makeup, uh, I believe it's eye color. And it's called Toulouse Le Palette. And it says, imagine if you could have eyeshadow colors in whatever shade you wished for. Now you can. Circled on a china plate are seven small quartz glass jars and all seven hold the key to an infinite rainbow of colors. Using a brush, mix the color you need in the well in the center of the dish. There are some suggested blends included on a sheet of paper where you can also keep a record of your own concoctions. And so we have that right here. And I'm going to open it here. And carefully get this out. So let's see here. Let's see if I can unwrap this. Okay. Well, you can see that it has all of these colors, right, of these um, eye colors. And they're really blendable powders. 
We've got yellow, we've got red and pink, and as you can see, it's still still sealed. And so you can blend them. Um, in the middle of the ceramic, um, there's a little, kind of a little bowl, a bowl or, or tray, excuse me, where you can mix some of these. And so that's called uh, to use the palette. And uh, it's pretty cool. I really like the way this looks. It's uh, very pretty. You can display that. And uh, who knows, I may use them and uh, actually use them <laughs> and take a video when I do that. So, okay, so that's that. And let's, let's find another product. Ooh, okay. Doesn't this sound good? Hot Toddy Bath Treat. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can read what it says on there. Spicy smelling liquid to pour under running tap for loads of bubbles. Yeah? Very nice. And let's see what the fragrance is like. It says, almost as long running as Jack and the Beanstalk. Hot Toddy Spicy Bubble Bath is now appearing for its third successful year. Cinnamon and cloves combine in mouthwatering harmony making this the most adorable bubble bath imaginable. Ideal for the long, cold winter nights. A hot bath and an early night with Hello Magazines sounds good to us. Yes, indeed. So that's Hot Toddy. And uh, Lush has, uh, or used to sell, a bubble bar called Hot Toddy. And uh, I have a still photo of that that I'll show you here in this video. And they also have a uh, had. Here's the hot toddy hair. Here's and it's uh, it's orange and it's got little sticks of cinnamon and cloves and whatnot in there and it's orange. And then we have also in the same scent is a melting snowman from a couple of years back for Christmas. Lush has this and it's a bath melt. And it looks like a little snowman and they have some chocolate chips. It's in this hot toddy fragrance. And so that's really cool, huh? And uh, let's see here. Yeah, we got a piece of cake. And it's talking about all kinds of uh, thank yous and, and everything. So, okay, that's that catalog. Here is... Uh, Cosmetics Danger, Cosmetics to Go July Sale. It says Illustrated Mail Order Catalog. How to Make Friends and Influence People with Free CTG Gift. Hang on to your purse. So let's open up and see what this has here. So, okay, we have a lot of soaps. We have Peach Melbar, um, Sandbar. Um, I have a picture of Sandbar. I I used to use that, and um, it's nice. It's kind of gritty, um, and you can use it as a as exfoli exfoliating bar, and uh, so that's real nice. Here's Milky Bar. Now Lush has sold Milky Bar in their in their company as well, um, but it came from CTG, and. Uh, it's very light smelling, but it does smell milky, and uh, it's really wonderful. I believe uh, right now the Lush North American website is selling Milky Bar in their retro area. If you want to get one of those, it's the same scent as the um, Hot Milk Bubble Bar. And uh, let's see if I can find some some Milky Bar here. Here's a Here's a piece of Milky Bar from Lush. And um, you can see they have soy milk in it and sweet orange oil and um, patchouli and different things like that. So uh, I like this. It's very nice. Okay. And uh, okay, here we have the Neroli hair fragrance and uh, we have various products here we have Prince of Neroli cologne 
we have neroli hair fragrance and we have um, let's see what else we have orange bliss hair and body wash and um, I'm going to show you I have one of the products here which is called um, of the neroli hair fragrance here is the neroli hair fragrance and um, Let's see what it has in it here. It says, Favio Orsini was the prince of Neroli. His wife, the princess, was renowned for her love of the Neroli fragrance. Pour through the hair as a final rinse for fragrant locks. It makes hair shiny and static free. Uh, it has lemon, orange, pitagrain, Neroli, orange flower, coriander, uh, it smells great, and uh, I have a couple of other products that uh, Nero Prince of Neroli was a range uh, here in CTG, and then later um, when Lush first started, they made some products in the Prince range, and um, I don't have them in front of me. Well, yes, I do actually. I have one of them in front of me, and that's the Prince Eau de Cologne, and um, it's pretty much like like this just a different kind of graphic there and uh, Lush also had at, at the same time they were selling the Prince de Cologne they also had the uh, the hair and body wash uh, which I have a bottle of somewhere and it's a very turquoise blue color and uh, it smells like the most orangey orangeness you've, you've smelled and it's really heavy on the neroli part and uh, so it has that crisp, uh, that crisp scent of oranges, and so it's just really yummy. I like I like oranges very much, so naturally I would like these uh, Neroli products. And uh, okay, here we have uh, let's see, Smaragdine Phyto Foam, and we have the soap as well, and. Uh, this has a lot of chlorophyll in it. Uh, it's very green smelling. It's got peppermint. It's got orange peel, patchouli. Um, and I think I have some here. Okay, I've got the smaragdine soap right here. And um, let's see what it says here. It says, a soap to match our favorite bath foam. Lather over the whole body in the bath or shower. Cleanses gently, leaving the skin smelling soft of patchouli. So it's got rose, peppermint, and um, chlorophyll, patchouli, pettigrain, pimento berry. Um, it's really, really rich smelling with multiple layers. It's a very complex, complex scent. Here's the, um, the Smetergadine liquid bubble bath. And this one uh, was available in the Lush Retro. And it says, uh, this luxurious patchouli rose lavender and sandalwood bubble bath uh, is sure to delight Cosmetics To Go fans who pleaded for us to bring it back. So there's also, um, in addition to the soap and the bubble bath, there's a phyto foam. And... Uh, I believe they call it liquid bubble bath hair, but I also have a bottle of the Phyto Foam from, uh, from Be Never as well. And they're all in the same scent. Um, it smells a little bit like Lush Tramp shower gel. Um, it's a little more complex than Tramp, of course, but it has that deep green, foresty green fragrance. And then, of course, there's other things in it like uh, orange oil and such. So, very nice. Here's the, the soap is so old that it's not usable anymore, but that's okay. I mean, I'm, I'm showing it. I knew it would come in handy one day. <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Okay, oh, okay, we have Happy Hippie. And this was a, um, what do they call it? I think they call it a shower and body gel. And 
it's got a lot of citrus in it and uh, this was the precursor to the Lush shower gel called Happy Hippie and it's still being sold at Lush today in 2013 so that's some pretty awesome stuff and let me see if I can I don't have any oh well wait a minute yes I do I don't have I have a decant of Happy Hippie and uh, of course it's it's lemony and wonderful and uh, it's not really heavy duty like maybe a uh, lush sandstone soap. It's kind of a lighter um, lemony fragrance. It's it's just gorgeous, really. I really, really like it. And I have a couple of still shots that I'll show you at the end of this video that has the different bottles of it. Okay. And, oh, here's something called, isn't that funny? It's called Product X. And it's a washing powder for the body that looks like it should be found in the laundry room. It's a gritty powder and you just massage it over your body, um, very exfoliating, and then you just rinse and um, your skin is nice and soft. It has a vanilla fragrance. I'd give anything to be able to try this. Doesn't that sound fun? Okay, let's move on here because I'm going to be taking a lot of time. <laughs> It'll be a long video. Okay, here's the ginger perfume, and CTG uh, started selling this ginger perfume. It's got mimosa, it's got jasmine, it's got Jamaican ginger, rose, and it's a, a very um, womanly fragrance, not really a girly fragrance. It's a uh, heavy rose and, and uh, very confident smelling. And let me see, I have some ginger perfume right here. And uh, Lush uh, started selling their ginger perfume that they used to have with CTG. And it's uh, just as big of a hit as it was in CTG days. And uh, Lush, throughout the years, has made various products in this scent. Uh, soap, uh, bubble bar, lotion, shower gel. Um, I'll do a video later of all of the things that are in the ginger fragrance, all of those products. And so that's ginger, one of Lush's and CTG's most popular fragrances. Okay, let's move on to another catalog. And okay, here's one. It says, Cosmetics to go right up your street. This is catalog 11. Oh, okay. Here's something, Rose Tinted Spectacles Bubble Bath. Okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can read something about this. Hmm. Believe it or not, this this writing it tells a story, but it doesn't have anything to do with the Rose Tinted Spectacles. Let's see if I can find some. Okay, here we go. It says. Um, this is a complete collection of rose fragrance products that are not like any other collection of rose fragrance products. These actually include oils from the roses. Otto of Rose is obtained from the petals by the traditional method of extraction. It has to be done almost immediately after the blooms have been picked and the still and the still for this is often found in the growing fields. Oh, the still, I see, to to extract. The yield is very low, making the resulting oil very expensive. Rose Absolute is obtained by a much more modern, modern method of solvent extraction and the resulting oil gives a greater yield, a strong yellow color and a different rose note. Both oils are highly prized and expensive but worth every penny because not only do they smell good, they do you good. Now, Rose Tinted Spectacle um, was sold um, years later, I, at another company that the owners of Lush opened up in England, and that was called the Be Never Too Busy to Be Beautiful Boutique. And in that boutique, they sold um, various things from CTG, and one of them was the Rose Tinted Spectacle Bubble Bath. And I loved this bubble bath, as you can see. I had like two or three of these, and I used them all up. And uh, they were um, in this, 
incarnation hair, the bubble bath was a, a light pink color. Um, and it just smelled so good. This was offered in the Keep It Fluffy range of fragrance in the Be Never area, but it's the uh, same, same fragrance, and um, it's just beautiful. Just like roses, just uh, like a field of soft roses. It's just beautiful. Okay, what else do we Oh, we have something called Turkish Bath Bliss. And it's a fluffy pink moussed rose water with almond oil, and you slide it, or you actually put it over your body and then slide into the water, and um, you gently massage the cream into your skin, and um, then you can rinse it off in the shower or the bath. And if that sounds familiar to you, um, it's because Lush has remade this product a couple of times. Uh, the first time was in the Be Never Too, Bitty, Too Busy To Be Beautiful boutique again. And we have the Turkish Bath Body Polish. And I'm going to go ahead and open this so you can see it. And uh, so I'll be right back. Well, Lushies, I'm going to have to do a part two video of CTG products and catalogs because uh, my iPhone is telling me that this it's full and it will not video, it will not record anymore. So stay tuned for another video I'm going to make right after this, and it's going to be uh, full of CTG products and catalogs and more fun and descriptions. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.